Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome to Advanced Class 72. All alone today, I had uh, my friend and colleague Alvaro in the studio with me for the last few classes, for the last few advanced classes, which was great. But here I am back by myself today and uh, reviewing these, uh, this, well, these structures. First, starting with a review from uh, class 71, something needs doing. I said, my hair well, ask me if my hair needs washing. Kyle, does your hair need washing? No, it doesn't need washing. I wash it. Uh, I, don't, I Actually, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it maybe every second day. I, I don't like to wash it too much, to be honest. Does your car need washing? Yes, my car needs washing washing. My house needs cleaning. It does. My kitchen needs tidying. It needs organizing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something needs doing. The Madrid Metro needs improving. Well, I, I don't, and we talked about this yesterday, and I don't think it needs improving. I think it's, it's very good. I think the Madrid Metro is very good. Does the city need cleaning? Oof. Oh, it needs cleaning. Sometimes it does. I think Madrid is a fairly clean city. What city are you in? Are you in Madrid? Are you in Barcelona? Does Barcelona need cleaning? Oh, all cities, you know, all cities benefit from being cleaned regularly. But uh, after the big parties, they need cleaning. They do. Now, I want to move on to translation list for because we started this yesterday, but ran out of time. So, we can uh, practice. We can, well, we can review this, and we'll go through the whole thing. Number one, tiene un... Well, actually, I'm going to... Yeah, we need, we need to hear the jingle, don't we? Here it is. Let's hear it. Translation. Oh, much better. Now I can start. Yes, the translation. So, translation list 14. Tiene un micrófono incorporado. Un micrófono incorporado. In English, en voz alta. It has a built-in microphone. Yes, it has a built-in, built-in microphone. So the microphone has been built-in. It has a built-in microphone. Number two, tenemos una amplia gama de alternativas. We have a wide range of alternatives. We have a wide range of alternatives. Number three, nuestro negocio básico es el acero. Our core business Core, core, like the center, el núcleo, the center, the, the nucleus, the core, like the core of an apple. Our core business is steel. Our core business is steel. Acero. El acero. We don't have to say the steel. No, no. Steel in general. Our core business is steel. Number four, voy a retirar la oferta. En voz alta. I'm going to withdraw, withdraw, retirar, to withdraw. I'm going to withdraw the offer. Yes, I'm going to withdraw the offer. Very good. Te estás tirando un farol. Te estás tirando un farol. Oh, good one. Very good. You're bluffing. You are, you are, or you're bluffing. So we have the verb 
to bluff. To bluff. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. B-L-U-F-F. You're bluffing. Number six. Esto nos permitirá lograr nuestros objetivos a un coste menor. This will enable us. Will it will enable? E n a b l e, enable, enable. This will enable us to achieve. Lograr nuestros objetivos. Achieve our objectives at a lower cost. This will enable us to achieve our objectives at a lower cost. Very good. Number seven. Esta reunión no está llegando a ninguna parte. In English? This meeting's going nowhere. Or it's getting nowhere. This meeting's getting nowhere. Or it's going nowhere. Either way. This meeting's getting nowhere. It is going nowhere. We don't normally say it isn't getting anywhere. No, we say it's going or it's getting nowhere. A ninguna parte. Number eight. No conocieras por casualidad a un tipo llamando Harvey? No conocieras por casualidad. You wouldn't know by any chance... Por casualidad, by any chance. Now, we use this in a negative. We make a negative question here. You wouldn't know, by any chance, a, a guy named Harvey. A guy named Harvey. You wouldn't know, by any chance, a guy named Harvey. Now, we use this structure when Really, we, we expect, I expect that you don't know a guy named Harvey. So I make this statement, you wouldn't know by any chance a guy named Harvey, but it's a question. But it's in the negative. You wouldn't know by any chance, no conocieras por casualidad a un tipo llamando Harvey. Okay. And we could use a question tag with this. We could say, would you? You wouldn't know a guy named Harvey, would you? Would you? But the question tag is not necessarily, it's not necessary. We can make this a question. You wouldn't know by any chance a guy by the name of, a guy named Harvey, or a guy by the name of, a guy by the name of Harvey. Do you know a teacher by the name of Fitz? He's the Irish guy. Do you know the teacher by the name of, oh, yes, of course I know him. Number nine, la naturaleza. Es muy sabia. Hmm, interesting. Nature. Nature. La naturaleza. Nature. Nature. The T-U sound. Choo, choo. Nature is very wise. Nature is very wise. Very good. Number 10. Hablarías inglés mejor si no fueras tan tímido. You would speak English better if you weren't so shy. You would speak English better if you weren't so shy. Yes. Number 11. No te acerques al borde. Don't go near the edge, al borde, the edge, edge. Don't go near to approach, acercar, to go near. Don't go near the edge, edge. And number 12, no sé cómo puede ser tan ingenuo a veces. I don't know how you can be. So, naive, naive at times, a veces, at times, 
ingenuo, naive. I don't know how you can be so naive at times. I don't know. I don't know how you can be so naive at times. All right. Expression of the day. Well, yes, folks, it is time now for our expression of the day. Our expression of the day today is to take a nose dive. A nose dive. So imagine we're diving. To dive. Like you dive into a pool when you jump in. Head first to dive in. But the nose is at the front. So imagine an uh, well, like the, if you, the nose is, is the you know the the front of your your face. But imagine uh, on an on an airplane we have the nose of the airplane, which is the front of the airplane. And if the if the plane starts to go down, so that the 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 nose is diving down towards the ground, we say the plane is in a nose dive, which is to um, which means it's going down, and it's this is not a good situation. When the plane goes into a nose dive, okay, it's going downwards, it's going down very quickly, okay. To take a nose dive. Now we have the structure, to uh, well to take a nose dive with, with say sales, or with profits. So the company. Really, to, after the bad news, after the announcement, sales really took a nosedive. It means they went down. So they went down quickly. So the expression is to take a nosedive. One word, nosedive. N-O-S-E-D-I-V-E. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, I have something in my throat. But to take a nosedive... Okay, so to go down very quickly. This is bad. When sales take a nosedive, terrible, terrible, yes. His popularity took a nosedive after the scandal, right? To take a nosedive, so to decrease sharply. All right. Now, we have another structure, an interesting structure here in Class 72, 72.2. 72.2. Make sure you're following along at home. We have structures with over and structures with under. So over is used when, you, when we're doing something excessively with a, with a verb, right? So to overspend, to spend excessively. So to overspend. Gastar más de la cuenta to overspend. Oh, so do do you always overspend at Christmas time? Yes, I always overspend at Christmas time. Did you overspend last Christmas? Yes, I overspent last Christmas. But one word: overspend, overeat. Ask me if I always overeat at Christmas time. Kyle, do you always overeat at Christmas time? Comer en exceso. Yes, I do. I always overeat at Christmas time. And then to overcook. To overcook means to cocinar demasiado, to overcook. Oh, I overcooked the dinner. Sometimes I overcook meals. Yeah. Overwork. Trabajar demasiado, to overwork. Sometimes I overwork. To overdo it, hacer un esfuerzo excesivo, to make a very ter- uh, an excessive effort, to overdo it. Oh, he overdid it a little bit. He did it a bit too much. Sometimes people try too hard, and their appearance is or their performance is actually worse because they're trying too hard. Sometimes in 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 the movies. You see an actor and you think, oh, that actor's really overdoing it. He's overacting. He's overacting. And he kind of overdid it in that role. Ese papel, that role. To oversleep. Right? To oversleep. Dormir más tarde de la cuenta. To oversleep. Did you oversleep last weekend? Yes, I overslept last weekend. Well, on the weekend, it's not... 
it's it's good to sleep long on the weekend. I well, I think it's nice to sleep in a bit on the weekend. Now we have with under underdress. Vestirse inadecuadamente. So if I if I underdress, it means I'm I'm not dressed appropriately, and I'm 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 not like I've, if if I show up to a formal dinner wearing blue jeans, oh, Kyle, you're you're underdressed. You didn't dress up enough. You are underdressed. Underprice. To sell something too cheap. To underprice. Oh, we underpriced the product. There was a great demand, but we underpriced it. We should have, we should have asked for more. We should have made it more expensive. We underpriced the project. Okay? To under budget. To under budget. Que es no hacer previsiones económicas suficientes. To under budget something. Or to under budget. Okay? Very good. Let's move on now to the vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. Starting off now, pasar por alto. To overlook. Yes, to overlook. Localizar, determinar. To pinpoint. To pinpoint. I have to pinpoint the exact moment when it happened. Or I have to pinpoint his location. The, we, we could use GPS, global positioning systems, to pinpoint his location. With some of these, uh, like a TomTom -tom system, these GPS systems in cars, you can pinpoint your location at any moment. Comprar. To purchase. To purchase. Dirigir. Disculpa. Dirigir el cotarro. To run the show. Who runs the show around here? Who runs the show around here? To run the show. Dirigir el cotarro. To run the show. Sudar. To sweat. Yeah, to sweat. To sweat. Sudar, to sweat. Very good. Okay, we are out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Uh, I have more to talk about, but we'll leave it for tomorrow. We had the idea of seven to eight hundred people were at the concert. Seven to eight hundred people were at the concert. Okay. De siete a ochocientos. Seven to eight hundred people. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, we say tres a cuatrocientos. Three to four hundred. We say that. So three to four hundred people were there. Seven to eight hundred. We don't say from seven. We just say there were seven to eight hundred people there. There were three to four hundred people at the show. There were eight to nine hundred people in the park, for example. Anyhow, we will practice this structure tomorrow. So please tune in again. Same time, same place. And we'll practice with this structure and in, the, in our review and on to more new material. I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye-bye.